What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Airport CEO. We are back in our recreation of Nashville International. Taking a look at baggage that is actually working. Content is unknown. Well, okay then. Uh, things are going okay. Little bit of issue with uh, check-in stands being backed up. That's okay. Hey, it should clear itself out. People are getting checked in okay. People are making it through security for the most part okay as well. There's just, again, one or two stragglers that are just kind of kicking through. We'll have to keep an eye on that and we'll adjust if we need to. I'm hoping we won't. But baggage is getting to planes. Planes are getting fueled up and trash taken care of. So things are going okay. Uh, in between episodes, made sure everybody is, has the baggage vehicles to their assigned stands, including the ones for D that we don't actually have anything set up there yet. Uh, also came through, did the carpeting work over in the international area. I don't think we've got a single international flight scheduled at all. Yeah, we don't have a single international flight. Is there a setting that I missed? Looks to be no. But everything's researched except for de icing. I mean, it's full research. Why not? Wrong one. There we go. No, I don't have anybody. Guess that's understandable. Uh, how about we filter by administrators? We'll hire one, two, I think we need three. Oh, two. That's fine. Um, staffing, I did not train yet. And that's fine. Um, did carpeting. Again, don't know if staff's going to use this because you do have to go into a international zone for that. Uh, but reworked the carpeting. Shops are closed because it's the middle of the night. Uh, we need to do tiling in this area. And so that'll probably knock out in between because there is some intricate stuff in here so i'll probably deal that in between as for tiling this area i have no idea what it looks like back there i haven't seen a picture of it behind anywhere this is gonna have to change just a little bit for whenever we get down to this level not gonna touch that today but coming soon this whole area will have to be reworked a little bit. Escalators going in the wrong direction. Um, from up here, they need to be going down. And then there's another set of escalators that go here down again. So we'll have to decide how we're going to do that. Uh, I don't think people can actually even use these escalators, quite frankly. Let's take out this, take out this. Apparently, we're going to do some of this now. We're just going to take out that. There's also a, a second elevator over here as well, so we can take out this section and we'll add in another elevator that goes down into the basement. That's nothing. Um, this, is, this area has basically the same kind of carpet. There's not really a whole lot of seating down here, which I'm kind of surprised by. Apparently they're expecting everybody to... Uh, just get their bags and go. Is there another set of bathrooms down there? Hold on. Terminal. Again, if you're following along at home, map.flynashville.com is where we're at. There are another two sets of bathrooms. There's one over here. There's one over here in between the doors. So that'll be something we add in as well. There's a whole host of people that are needing to use the bathroom, so you know what we'll do? We'll just copy that real quick. Take this one and go... Ew, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Maybe we won't do that. That might be a, a custom job on uh, where things are. Why are you secure right here? I don't even know. But baggage is going, people are getting their bags. People are uh, apparently going to the bathroom over here. Huh. 
Probably because that's literally the only bathroom that's uh, available to uh, the public that's not in a secure area. Well, that's intriguing. We'll have to take a look at that as well. Concourse C, Concourse D. Absolutely empty. Uh, and I think we kind of are going to work on that today. I'm going to come through with carpet just to uh, start off with. Carpet's going to go to here. And carpet's going uh, basically from here down to here. This will be carpeted like all the rest. This back here, I there are some shops back here, and I believe it's tile back here, which is a little bit different. Um, but I think we're going to kind of uh, spend a little bit of time dealing with Concourse D first. So we'll flip around and we'll take a look at Concourse D. Everything is on the side here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to come over down here real quick and copy the desks. And we will go ahead and add desks in. I think I have it here. So we will hook up those three gates. Uh, it is gate three, uh, sorry, gate D1 through D6. And starting at the end, down over here, we're going to add in some windows first. Because everything down here is a whole bunch of windows. We'll start in the corner, we'll start over here. Those windows run along this wall as well. We get one in the middle? No. We probably get a medium one in there. There's also windows along this wall to out there. Because over here, there's a wall right about here. And there are a set of bathrooms, and we're going to just grab the bathrooms from Concourse B. Somewhere over here. Oh. I did redo the carpeting over here. There's a shop that goes here that I did not add yet. The carpeting does have a bunch of guitars in here, so I did the best I could to uh, recreate that. Hopefully, uh, it looks like a guitar. It does in my head. Hopefully, it does to you as well. So we're going to grab these bathrooms. We will slide all the way over here. And we'll drop you all in place there. Going further over, there is just basically a wall that comes along here. Probably about here. And take that back like so. There is a lactation room over here, according to the map. So we'll grab that as well. And we will add you right. All right, take that back. You're over a little bit further here. Uh, female, we'll turn that one on. Female on, male on, and there we go. Um, around the perimeter is a basically a brown. set of uh, carpet and it does come to the middle where did I do that uh, so one two three tile and on the inside of that next one so we're gonna do the same thing here it basically goes here we will take that all the way across and basically it's gonna go over here ish somewhere and same thing over here. 
because this wall actually extends down and then goes up at a diagonal so we'll add that in as well so we've got our lactation room next to that we've got do we have it? oh it's the good old southern steak and oyster opposite Puckett's Grocery and Restaurant. So we will add those in. There's a, another set of bathrooms down over here. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to grab you guys again real quick. Slide you down and it is almost opposite gate two, which is this one. I'm not going to put them that close together. We need room for the shop. And there's a little bit more that goes in next to it. So we'll put it over here. Uh, we've got de-icing finally. De-icing fluid and a de-icing pad. Um, we need to add a restaurant. I might end up shrinking this up a little bit. The restaurants are basically opposite each other. So let's go ahead and do a quick food room. I'll leave a little bit of space on either side, like that. Um, grocery and restaurant. Don't even know which one to use. So maybe. There is a Burger King further down <laughs> in this terminal, so we'll we'll hold on to the Burger King for a second. We'll we'll do Petit Bisou. Um, so we'll come in and grab some walls. Do we have a picture of this by any chance? No. I think we do. Uh, we need a bunch of display fridges, however. Yeah, I have a picture of the other restaurant. The Southern Steak and Oyster. And quite frankly, it's making me a little on the hungry side. So that's going to sit over here. We, uh, I'm still very tempted just to kind of slide that over a little bit. So I'll tell you what, let's, let's go ahead and grab this. I'm going to put it next to the bathrooms. In fact, it'll share that wall. That's fine. But, in the meantime, it's... They're basically the same size. It's... The restaurant itself is open to the concourse area. But down here, I don't have a good picture on what we have here. So, food room. We're going to need a register. And we will put it right in the middle. And need a bunch of display fridges. Because it is grocery and restaurant. We'll give you some display fridges. On either side, so you can maybe get something out of the cooler. And then we'll just do some simple table and chairs. Going around. And 
Ooh. Another set of tables out there. That'll work. We'll go ahead and we'll sign you up so that we got places for people to shop over here. We've got bathrooms for people to go as well. Uh, you can go. Do we have planes yet? Is Are you guys up and running? Yeah, we've got Southwest and a couple Delta coming through. Uh, let's slide over here real quick and get some seating. So we'll go ahead and drop in seating here. Seating up there. And seating along the back. Something like that. Might end up tweaking this a little bit. That might bother me. Uh, female on. There we go. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. need to make this... No. Let's speed things up. Yeah, you, you, you good? Almost. Because I need to make you all a secure area again. There we go. Okay. Fine. So, Stake and Southern has a wall that comes across like that and it goes... Ooh, don't put that in yet. Because I need to make this as a food room first. Uh, coming down to there. Um... I don't see any plants in these pictures. Taken southern. I see green beans. Do green beans count as plants? Um, yeah, I don't see any plants. But we're gonna we're gonna do the bistro, I think. No, I take that back because we don't have armchairs in there either. A La French. A bunch of display fridges. Valentino. We're going to go with Valentino. That's going to be the way to go. So, need three cooking stations. Everything else is good. So, there is kind of a bar section here, kind of in the middle. There's a bunch of windows on the back. And it looks like there's a pile in front. Is the concourse D not carpeted? No. It's all tile. Interesting. Well, that's going to change things a little bit. Okay. So, in front, we've got the restaurant, give me display fridges. There's basically two display fridges right here. And there's a little bit of a bar that goes like that. And, in fact, we're going to take out one of the counters there, and oh, that one, and that one. Because there's a register there, so you can just grab something as you're going past, or there's a register there, so you can grab something as you're sitting down. 
Uh, we're going to take this bar over and back a little bit. We're going to grab a wall and come up. Wait a minute there. This is basically looks like it's the kitchen area. So we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a couple cooking stations. We need a three. Get ourselves, you know, stove or two in the back. We'll get ourselves, how about a sink? And how about a couple fridges? There we go. So you do your food prep on the front side, the back side, and there we go. Need tables and chairs. They are basically white tables and black chairs. And when I take that back, it's not white. It's a very light colored uh, tan. Something like that. And then the chairs are all black. Can't paint that countertop, can No. Paint the walls either. No. I can paint where the register is, I just can't paint the rest of the counter. Uh, bar stools. Where are the bar stools? And again, these look like they're kind of a, uh, a black leather, if you will. So, zoop and zoop. There we go. Along here, there is giant window. We will add that window in as well. And there we go. Yeah, I don't think this is the correct flooring. According to the pictures I'm seeing both on the BNA website and on Google. So I'm going to have to check Concourse D. I don't think they've got carpet through the middle like every wall, like the rest of them because it looks like it's kind of a uh, tile like this which admittedly tile makes more sense in an airport but who am I um, there is a design that goes through uh, probably get a contract with Valentino there we go What are we short on vehicle-wise? Baggage trucks. How am I short on baggage trucks? Every single stand has their own baggage trucks. Um, give me you two. I'll just put some seats over there, and you know what? We'll do some seats there. seating this way not there because there looks like there's a little variation in some of the seats in the concourse D uh, we've got bathrooms over here go ahead and get these turned on There is a small little area back here. Kind of a hallway. Yeah, there's a little hallway. Running back like here. And then there's a shop.
Oh, there's the Minute Sweets that are over here that offer five clean and sanitized sweets and a restroom with shower. Plus, free Wi-Fi, a television, a desk with a work chair, and a comfy day bed. That is, that is something. There is also a shop right over here. The True to Tennessee. Reflects the life, reflects the style and diversity of Nashville and its southern charms. Offers the best of regional gifts and souvenirs. Representing Nashville's local artisans and brands, including apparel, gifts, souvenirs, accessories, gift foods, and more. So let's go ahead and add in True to Tennessee. We'll do this. The flooring seems to be kind of a dark hardwood. Uh, middle hardwood. Something like this. Look, there's registers over on the side over here. So we'll put it there. There's a pillar. Basically there. I don't think I want it on that side. I want it on that. May as well make sure it's zoned correctly. Um, we'll do that, and let's get some wall shelves because they've got a bunch of wall shelves. And then next to the register section, so we'll do a couple there. And then I think we'll just kind of do some uh, nice shelving units back in the back. And we've got something small. The pedestal is small, isn't it? Yeah, that'll work. Look at that. Uh, you will. You will work. We will get that in place. Um... I don't even know what I'm going to do here. This area here, we are going to tile. We're going to do tile through there and up to here until we figure out what we're doing in the center section. But in this area, we've got the secure slide service animal and pet relief indoor area so that way your pets can get themselves a little relief if they need to go so we'll come through and uh i'd like to do like a, a standard bench that would be nice but i can't do a standard bench inside which i don't know why so i think we'll go with just some basic chairs so one, two, three, and four. That way there's a place for you to uh, sit and relax while your pet does what your pet needs to do. Um, yeah, trying to figure out what we're going to do in here. Uh, restaurants seem to be working fine. Uh, homeboy here seems to be trapped, which... I guess we can give you a door here. Oh, there's probably, you know, tile in this area. Got a bunch of people waiting on the flight. Um. Okay. So the minute sweep. I've never even heard of this before. It, it's an interesting concept. Uh, we're gonna take the front off.
Um, basically, from the picture, there's a desk, and it looks like a, a small shop, if you will. But I don't think we'll be able to get the shops in like we're going to want to. There's a desk here, though. That I'm gonna add in, and then behind it, desk. There's like a wall here, and it takes you to a hallway. And I don't have any pictures of what any of the suites actually look like, but I can make a reservation. While they were taking that out, I clicked on the reservation link, and let's see what we end up with. It's it's loading. Um, but food room. I want a register over here. Looks like you could do. There's a, it's a glassed-in case. We're gonna do that. Oh. Apparently I got a connection timed out error. The minute suites might not actually be a thing anymore? This is something to enhance your stay. There's zero that I have that's going to fit there. Um, noise canceling headphones, sleep mask, silk sheet, and facial cleanser. It looks like kind of what you would expect it to look like. It's got a small desk, a TV, a couch that turns into a bed. So, almost exactly what you would expect it to look like. Oh, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That and we do that. There's a set of doors here that you go down the hall. Um, I kind of want to bump this out. If I'm being honest. Hold on, let's, let's redo this. So, three. Wall, two, three, and a wall. Take that out. I think that's going to be what I want. We'll do one there, we'll do a door there. Got a gray sofa that looks like it can potentially fold out into a bed. Maybe like a twin size bed. There's a small desk. And a tiny little chair next to it. Do that. We'll leave these walls in place. Those are going to go, I could do a, a third bedroom suite. I 
in there as well. Other kitchen? In case you were one. According to minutesweets.com. Uh you can get a one hour suite for forty-eight dollars US. Uh, you can get two hours for 96 and after two hours you can get 15 minute increments in 950 which is a little on the pricey side but okay uh, if you need an extended stay like an eight hour stay after 9 p.m. it's 175 bucks Uh, apparently showers are only available in Atlanta, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, JFK, and Philly, which I'm thinking about doing in the next series of Airport CEO, so we might be doing another uh, minute suite in Philly. Um... How am I doing the rest of this? Because I don't want to just waste the space. Guess we just do that. Do a division there. Do a single door. Grab a couch. The couch is pretty much that color. table and a round back chair there we go uh, carpet looks either this color tan or looks like there's some variations we'll kind of go with the uh, mat in a couple places because it seems to be kind of checkeredy if there's anything over here We've got our minute suite. Oh, and homeboy's just stuck in the wall again. You know what? We'll do a small janitorial closet, I guess. Room's too small. Okay, that's fine. We'll at least zone it for staff. That way people don't get stuck in there. So we've got our minute suite. Down over here, we've got a Burger King. Uh, we'll drop that in real quick. Wall comes over here, and then it goes diagonal. How big does this Burger King need to be? Are you Burger King size? You are Burger King size. We need two cooking stations. Perfect. There are some additional restaurants, but again, because of number of restaurants that are in game as well as uh, space, we don't really have the space to put it in there, but there is. The Party Fowl. F-O-W-L. Uh, first Nashville hot chicken restaurant with full service, full bar, and full brunch. Uh, it's Burger King, so we'll do one, two. Do a couple of those, and do one there. Where is the... coffee machine, but we will call that uh, a soda machine. So you can get your sodas as you need it. I need... What do I need? I need cooking station. A couple of... One, two... 
you know what? We might as well put a fridge in here, because where else are you storing your Whopper meat? Uh, table. Like just kind of simple chairs. Actually, it looks like it's all just walk up. And that's fine. We'll we'll add a couple tables and chairs just to give people places to eat as if they want to. Uh, that is not what I wanted. forward, I think. We'll do that. It looks like there's a display fridge over. But I don't know what you would display in a burger. Okay, it looks like oh, if I zoom in. Um, while I'm waiting on them to take that out, we will real quick come through and light colored wood. Just do some nice wood. And we'll do some kitchen tile back there. Reminds me I wanted to do kitchen tile back over here. And it's a dark wood floor. that out. Now I can put my display fridge in so you can get yourself a bottle coke if you need. Uh, Burger King, have it your way. So in a nutshell, that is Concourse D. Um, we can add in our diagonal wall. Our town. goes down to about here. And there are bathrooms over here. I think we're going to do that. Up there. We will do our diagonal wall. Coming along down over here. As for the exit, comes up, there's a coffee place here on the corner. Come along like so, and that, that, and that going to probably take us to the end of the episode. Back here we will do staff break room as well as office space. So might do some executive offices in here. Again, don't actually know where any of the, uh, the formal offices are. That is a ton of people in security. Are we short staffed on security? Why are we short staffed with security? Apparently, uh, people are on break. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.